quick video here on my accessory setup for the Leica Q343. I tried two grips and two hood solutions outside of the OEM hood that comes with the camera. In terms of grips, I tried the JJC grip and the small rig grip. I really wanted to try the Helix grip made by Hugh Brownstone, but they're sold out, the pre-orders aren't open, and I need a grip now. <laughs> For me, the JJC grip was a little too small. As you can see, there's a spot where your finger has no place to go. <laughs> it's just uh, out on its own up there. <laughs> And there's really wasn't enough of a purchase for me, really. Um, uh, uh, but I do like how it sort of points out a little bit more. All the JJC grips seem to do that, and I do like that aspect of it. So for the grip, I went with the small rig guy. I really like the purchase that your hand gets on this. It's got a nice indent right here. Um, it, it has almost sort of like an SL3 or SL2 feel to it, which means it does add quite a bit of bulk to the camera, but it's very, at least with my hands, it's a very secure grip here. Like the JJC, you need a tool to take this on and off, but unlike the JJC, which has the tool in the little plastic, you know, cocaine dime baggy thing, <laughs> the tool here is, is magnetically connected to the camera, which is not my favorite. I would prefer to have a little handle here that you can flip up and spin around. Um, but um, you know, if, if it's not having the tool attached uh, uh, or having the tool attached, I'll take this. Um, and then it has this weird thing here. It's a magnetically sealed little piece, which I'm not totally sure what this does. I don't know if this is for customization. It, it doesn't work as the tool here. Um, so I, I don't know what this is about. I don't really get it, but there's a magnetic bar here that doesn't do anything. It comes off. Uh, um, I don't know if it's like to hide something, but or like to customize it, you can put your name on it, but that's on there, so that's cool. Um, things I don't like about this grip. One is that this part here is too high, so it makes reaching the ISO dial a little tricky. I wish they had made a cutout here. Uh, as you can see with the JJC grip, there's plenty of room to reach the dial here. And then, um, this is sort of a weird thing they did. They put the... Um, strap lug connector here as part of the grip. So it actually covers over the Q3 strap lug and then you put one in here, which is fine, except now they are not at the same spot. So the camera always feels like it's like this if you carry it like, whoop, if you carry it like this uh, uh, on a strap, which is not ideal. I wish they had just put the strap lug a little lower or maybe made this whole grip part a little bit lower uh, so the strap lugs were the same. Another thing I don't like about this grip is that it seems like it gets unscrewed a little bit and I can feel it moving sometimes. So uh, uh, we'll see, you know, uh, uh, maybe I'll just rock without a grip, but um, for now I really like the purchase that this gives me. So uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll try the OEM like a one as well. The last thing I don't like about this is, the, is that there's no slope in here. Like the JJC grip has a slope in, so when you pop open the memory door, when you pop open the door to get to the memory card, there's like a little indent so you can grab the card. Here, you kinda gotta like pop it out sometimes to get it, it makes it a little inconvenient. But overall, the feel and the solid purchase of this grip made me choose this guy. In terms of lens hoods, I like the way the lens hood that came with this looks. However, um, as it has been well documented on the internet and here on YouTube, <laughs> you can't use filters if you use the OEM hood that comes with the camera. I understand they wanted to make it smaller so it was the same size as the Q3, um, but I'll also say they did this with a 35 millimeter Summicron M mount lens. So as you can see on my M11P here, you know, it's kind of a similar thing. And same thing with that lens. I, I had to take off the lens hood. I just rock it uh, with just the filter on it. I don't use that, that hood either. But for this guy, because I'm going to use this as an everyday carry, which means it's going to be out in the open on, on, a, on a strap just banging into stuff, you know, just hang on, hanging off my hip or hanging off my shoulder. I really wanted to have a hood here just to protect it. So I first tried the Haugi Haugi <laughs> lens hood, which is an identical replica of the Q3 lens hood. 
the OEM Q3 lens hood. Unfortunately, it's such a good replica that it has the same problem where it doesn't screw on right to this and ends up at an angle if you screwed on all the way. So that was no good. I will say with the filters on, it worked fine though, uh, but I just didn't want to have a loose uh, hood just dinking around on the camera. So I ended up with this JJC hood, which seems to be a replica of the Leica OEM round hood. You know, it screws on in the same place. You have to take off the protective filter, all that stuff. And it fits on here really nicely. Even the JJC there matches up to like the, the uh, aperture dot on the camera. So that's pretty cool. Do I like this uh, hood as much as the OEM kind of square guy? No, I don't. Um, does it make as much of a difference because this is not a true rangefinder? Not really. Um, it doesn't add much bulk to the camera and it, it, it does protect the lens, which is the main thing I was worried about as impacts, you know? So uh, for that reason, that's what I'm rocking until someone comes up with a better solution. The last accessory here is, and it's harder to see right now, um, but it is the short stash everyday filter which is like a circular polarizer combined with like a little mist filter I think um, and it, it just works really well with this camera um, especially during the day it takes a little edge off the sharpness of this lens which you don't always want um, and it, you know in the daylight it just makes colors pop and just adds a nice vibe to everything this camera is doing um, times that I don't want um, the short stash vibes, everyday filter vibes. Here's the case for it. Um, I just put on a, a 49 millimeter B and W clear filter again because I want to protect this lens, this beautiful, beautiful Apo lens against you know little shocks and uh, uh, um, drops and stuff like that. Uh, I don't baby my cameras, and this is going to be the least babied camera uh, um, because this is the everyday carry going forward. Oh, I should also mention I have the Leica thumb support on here. This is a must get. It lets you use the two buttons. It makes the ISO dial make sense. Um, if you don't have it on, there's like this big gap between where you put your thumb and the dial with this on. Um, you just kind of do this and, and it's right there where it's supposed to be. The dial feels good. So uh, uh, that that's another accessory I'm using here. But for now, this is the setup. Like a thumb support, small rig hand grip, JJC lens hood, short stash, Polar Pro, everyday filter. Oh, and then also, I guess I could mention this too. I've got Peak Design anchors on here so I can switch out different straps. Um, so what do you think about my little setup here? Anything I should change? Any other accessories I should uh, check out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.